farm that she built with her husband, John. She has chicken. You don't watch that. Watch this. This is the heavy, heavy monster sound. The Nazi sounds around. So if you All right, so about eight months ago, the Listen team got to join the pre-accelerator here at Invest Ottawa. <laughs> Pre-Accelerator is a program designed to take companies from concept to minimum viable product. The reason we didn't do the actual Accelerator program is because we were just too early in the process and we lacked some of the requirements you needed to get in. All right? Anyways, we were part of the third cohort of the Invest Auto Pre-Accelerator. Check out that original logo. So. What do you get from being in this program? You really only get four things. Number one, 10 three-hour workshops where every week either a leading entrepreneur or industry expert is gonna come in and give you a solid foundation in their area of expertise. All right, week five session done. I thought I knew a lot about marketing. Turns out I know nothing, so you know, just fantastic. Number two, mentorship and marketing intelligence. This includes one-on-one -on -one mentorship hours from industry experts, as well as access to their marketing insights team. I mean, where else are you gonna get those two things from? Number three, beautiful workspace. Because, you know, working at home alone all the time gets lonely. Number four, networking events. Because you can never have too many networking events. The heart of this program is really those weekly workshops. And they're awesome. The best analogy I have for them is university classes. Some of them were just boom, like bang on exactly what you want to learn about and the speaker was fantastic and everything just like clicked. Like when Rob Lowe came in and teach us how to fundraise for your startup. Have you done what you said you were going to do on the first month of your operating plan? Have you hit this number? Have you spent this number? And your answer is either yes or no. And it better be yes and some were a little bit harder to get through. Maybe because the speaker wasn't able to connect with us, but often just because they were talking about a subject that just wasn't relatable to where our business was. So, you know? So to get back to that, to that original question, should you join the program? And the answer is yeah, a thousand percent. Especially when you're in the early stages of your idea, you want to be doing everything and anything. Joining a program like this is going to force you to challenge your ideas, which is going to lead to three possible outcomes. Number one, your idea sucks and you have to start over. Number two, your idea is pretty good, but you're probably gonna have to pivot. That's what we had to do. Number three, your idea is awesome. They're gonna help you take it to the next level. So if you ever have an opportunity to join a program like this, take it, especially one like Invest Ottawa. It is just run by people who wanna see your business succeed. They only succeed if their businesses that they bring in succeed. I'll leave you with one last thing that really shows you what type of people run this program. During the summertime, I was invited to attend their annual barbecue, where I luckily sat down at the same table as the CEO and got to ask him a couple questions. There was one question I asked him that really stood out to me. I asked him, after 10 years of working at Microsoft, why come work here? Growth. I believe growth is one of the most valuable aspects in life. And to be part of an organization where we're helping companies do that on a daily basis, why would I work anywhere else? You won the same award we won. Except she won it by herself and you guys uh, tied. Aww. So you're better. <laughs> Are you stoked you joined the pre-accelerator? Yeah, it was an awesome experience. To anyone who is in Ottawa who's thinking about entrepreneurship or has an idea in the back of their mind, this is a way to fully fledge it. So definitely check out Investor. And um, Leo calls him. Guess what? We're ready to roll. It's coming back around, right? Great. Comes to me and goes, what the fuck happened to your life in the four years? You were broke when I met you, Rich. How the hell that happened? All right? I said, well, I tell you what happened. Here's what I do. I teach this system called the straight line. I show them the videos. I train salesmen, comp companies all over the world hire me. Big ones, Fortune 500, small ones. Were you pitching him to hire you? To, for no, a straight line? No, no, I was telling him what was going on. It's yeah. my life, right? Because he didn't understand how I got rich again so fast. Got Although it. it was not so fast. It was a few years, but it appears to be fast from the outside, right? So anyway... So him and Scorsese was so freaked out by my comeback that they changed the entire third act of the movie. In the original draft, the movie ended with me in jail. And that was it. 
No comeback story, not me on stage, not the Jordan Bell that comes back and trains salespeople. Wow. Still a good movie, but for me, that's not really the story I would love to be known for. Okay. The story that I was able to come back and, you know, create this incredible program people use all over the world. So what happened is this basically. So things went terribly against me. I lost this window of opportunity in 2007 and could have curled up in a ball and died and said, fuck it. Why go any further with this? Right. Instead, I built a massive business in spite of that. And when it came back around, it made the movie a hundred times. I changed my own life story while it was being written. And that's how the movie is. It ends with me on stage, introducing Leo in a seminar to a thousand people. And obviously what that did for my business was incredible. So that's, it's a perfect example for everybody listening about just how you go move through life. You know, you can either be someone that allows the environment to like dictate how you feel or what you do, or you make your own fucking way. You know, Hannibal, either find a way or make a way. You got to make your own way. The world doesn't happen to you. You create your own world. Shit's going to go wrong all the time, but you can have two paths. The paths of all the reasons why I can't get what I want or a path to results or I get exactly what I fucking want and won't stop till I do. That's the bottom line. Hey, I love that. Hey, did y'all hear that? That was great. And I feel like I can relate to you.